good as two weeks. Two weeks is like nothing.
Yo. Uh, it's alright, I guess. I got the new video car installed, and that seems to have at least partially fixed the problems. I haven't done all the testing yet. Yesterday, I didn't get everything installed until, like, 10 o'clock, so I just didn't feel like doing it yesterday, but I'll do some more today. I have access to Shadow Play now, which will really help for the stuff that I'm going to be doing in the summer. I wanted to do Dynasty Warriors videos with it, because I know that's what everybody wants to watch, but, uh... The port of that game is just so weird. You can have a computer that should be able to run it, and it'll still run really crappy. Can I make that? Um, never mind. There we go. Maybe I'll do some Tokiden later today if people actually show up to my stream. But I'm not going to set it up if nobody's going to watch. Ah, fuck. That had health in it. I tried to play DMC4, I was thinking of getting back into that to practice for the special edition, but that game doesn't play nice with 360 controllers, or uh, PS4 controllers. Like, if you try to push the equivalent of the start or select button, it freaks out. I'm sure that will be fixed in the special edition, but kind of sucks, I can't really play that right now. My 360 controller is in such terrible condition, I just don't really have any interest in using it anymore. Especially since with DS4 Windows, you can get pretty much any game to recognize it. Now well, that's the end of the daily challenge. Can I still break the boss? Does this still work? Ah, oh, they fixed it. If he before like a couple patches ago, if he went out of bounds like this, you could go to the boss room, get them to spawn, and then go back and they would just die instantly. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. 
Yeah, I heard they made Unity free, which is great for indie developers. Although, I don't know if that's a good thing for Steam, because... Steam's already getting flooded with indie games. And a lot of, a lot of really great indie games like this just get, like, overshadowed, because there's just a sea of them coming out so often. It's like, it's not as bad as, like, the mobile app stores, but... I think the easier it gets to make an indie game, the harder it's going to be to get noticed. Like, this game should should have, like, a huge following by now, at least a decent following. But it doesn't, because it just kind of came out, and there's just so many indie games coming out every day on Steam. You pretty much have to get lucky, and, like, hope some, like, big YouTuber or Twitch streamer will cover your game. I told them on the forums for this, like, you guys should be, like, really handing out copies to, uh... People like Caleb Hart, a lot of the Mega Man X community would probably eat this game up. But I think they're kind of apprehensive to advertising the game right now because it's nowhere near done. I know they pushed back the uh, like overall projected release date for this. Because they've run into a lot of problems and we've been giving them feedback, you know, a lot of the things that suck, you know, to get them to take it out, so... Maybe that's why they haven't advertised it. Wow, no health at all. Come on, give me some health. Alright, that'll do. I hope they do advertise this game, like, they're putting a lot of work into it. Definitely one of the my favorite roguelikes on Steam. I've played a lot of these action roguelikes, this is the only one that I've really, like, stuck with. I played Ascendant for a while, but that game was just, like, hard for all the wrong reasons. And the bosses were pretty boring, too. <laughs> That game had, like, the worst bosses, just too heavily scripted. Like, here, they're pretty much Mega Man bosses. Yeah, I watched the live stream. I can't wait for that to come out. It's 
fucking deer guy. Where the fuck is he? Making me lose all his health. He need to nerf these deer things. Like, seriously, fuck this shit. Why can they hit you from, like, a mile away? Lost a lot of health because of that. Oh no, that deer is broken. The most annoying enemy in the game, in my opinion. I've never seen them be that scummy though. Normally they're like tolerable, but that one was on a mission. <laughs> he was determined. I've never seen him hit, hit me from like that far away. Alice runs toast. Of course, now it gives me fucking mobility when the run's over. Sure. Thanks, game. <coughs> I am liking the new changes this week, though. Just the game's being a dick right now. Uh, I had one of the deer enemies hitting me from, like, a mile away. Alright, I might be able to salvage this, maybe. Yeah, I have the air dash right now. In fact, I'm gonna use it to skip this area. There we go. I was gonna say, maybe you have the, uh... You don't have good enough internet for the decreased stream delay that they pushed out today, but I haven't enabled that yet. Damn, it came out too fast. <clears throat> so I told, uh... Ultraman, but uh, I tried to run DMC4 on this new video card with a PS4 controller, and I found out I can't skip cutscenes without it soft locking. <laughs> because even if I use DS4 Windows, it doesn't know how to like react to me using a PS4 controller. So that kind of sucks. I wanted to do some practice, but. I don't have another controller right now. Like, every button works, but start. As soon as I push start, the game soft locks. Uh, the only JRPG series I follow is Tails, because... They're the only ones that even attempt to do, like, real-time combat, or action combat, anymore. All the other ones are still using, like, 
ancient turn-based battle systems that just bore me to tears. Tails is the only one that I like actively follow and play. There's so many like C-tier JRPGs coming out, but they all have such boring combat. Like I don't really have any interest or drive to play them. That's all that's left for people who are sick and tired of turn-based combat. That's like your only option. I wish that wasn't the case, but... I guess the, like, C-tier developers don't really want to approach it. They don't know how to approach it. But I think... It would make them stand out more. I mean, those games all look the same to the untrained eye. They all have, like, a really generic anime art style. <laughs> you know, they have, like, the little screaming 12-year-old anime girls and shit. And then they have, like, the, all the exact same battle system. Well, I don't know. I hope at some point this gen, those, like, lower-tier JRPG series will, like, actually try to do something different. Not just for my sake, but for other people, too. I mean, some people just want basic turn-based combat, but... If you're not into that, you pretty much have, like, one option. Although Star Ocean 5 coming out means that Tails is finally gonna have some competition. For the first time in, like, ten years. I've never been into Final Fantasy at all. I mean, I played some of them because my friends wouldn't shut up about them when I was younger, but... They just never really appealed to me. None of these are that great. I'll take this one. Wow, let me skip like that entire level. <laughs> it's pretty rare. You get a level where it just straight up lets you skip the entire thing. Why the fuck does this deer have so much goddamn health? That deer needs a nerf. Like, seriously. Fuck those things. They can hit you from anywhere as long as you're in their line of sight. Ah, oh, 
Ah, shit. Whoa! <laughs> I broke it. I heard Xenoverse sold like 2.3 million copies, so... They'd be stupid to make a not, not make another one. I like that game, but just I didn't like the grind. It's just such a buzzkill, like trying to like make an optimized character in that game. <clears throat> I just got tired of playing it. It's just like, especially like all the artificial difficulty in that game. Like you know they put like. They give you like three and ones and the enemies have like infinite meter for everything and they just keep spamming projectiles and unless you have a build that can just tank it you're fucked I didn't like that I didn't like all the RNG in that game but yeah they'd, they'd be stupid to not turn that into a franchise I mean it sold really well Most of those like anime based games don't really sell that much because there's just so many of them and they're really only meant to like pander to the hardcore fans but that one you know it's a pretty decent game even if you like don't know a whole lot about Dragon Ball and the whole online you know social features really helped it too to get some momentum but that game seriously needs some work. Like, the PvP was just, like, hot garbage, you know, they were trying to do, like, tournaments and shit with it, but there's just so many, like, broken builds in the game, there's, <laughs> like, no point. I don't know, all the broken stuff in that game didn't really mean much in the grand scheme of things. Because the netcode and the lag was just awful. I mean, it could have been like a legit, like, competitive fighting game and it wouldn't have mattered because the lag was just so bad. Uh, I have it on PS3, but I just can't, I can't get used to how slow the frame rate is. I was gifted a copy on PS3 by a good friend. I should have, in retrospect, I should have asked him for a PC version. But I don't even like the strategic part of the Empire's games. I don't really care about that. I just want the, the combat. Just the frame rate so terrible on the PS3 version. 
I hate to be one of those people, but it's just... Playing something like Basara and then going to that is just... Really hard. I only accepted his offer because... I wanted to try the new movesets. I don't have any interest in the main, like... Empire's mode at all. It's like, I don't care about all the town management and stuff. Like, just give me good combat. <laughs> That's all I'm after. The rest is just whatever. Nah, I still can't skip this. Although, now that there's mods on the PC version, I kind of want to get that version. What mods did you find? Like, what mods are there? I think I'm gonna do, like, one more run of this, and, uh, that's gonna be it for now. Maybe I'll switch to something else, if anybody else, like, actually shows up. Uh, the video that's going out tomorrow is going to promote the stylish action game wiki. So that might bring in some new people.
I'm really sad I can't practice DMC4 because I don't have use of the start button. <laughs> That's a pretty major disadvantage, especially in the Bloody Palace. I can't skip the like portal opening cutscenes. But the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter because I'm not even going to be playing with the Dante and Nero. Just going all in on the new characters. And I know it will be fixed for the uh, special edition. Um, uh, yes and no. I got it sorted out. I'm pretty much going to have no money when I go there, but I will be able to attend. Do I want to take this? This item is really good on paper, but... Especially now that they have, like, boss weaknesses, like an actual Mega Man game. If you take too many hits on the level and you have no energy, the fight's going to take a lot longer. I don't know if I want to take this. This item has saved and killed a lot of runs in the past. I'll take Force Nova. Yeah, I'm gonna go without it. Why not? anything up there? Oh yeah, there is. Nah, trash item. Nah, item's not trash, but... I think towards the second half of the game it's kind of uh, a disadvantage. Unless you, like, magically get your health back up. Because, like my, most roguelikes, a lot more enemies spawn past the first half. So if you go into that with no health and no mobility, he runs over.
There we go. Yes, in high school. <clears throat> I'm not gonna take this. The glaive is better. I think I've exhausted the item pool. <laughs> sure looks like I've exhausted the item pool. This run might see it to the end. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Oh man, I wish I had a double jump right now. Oh man. Can't get up there. Thought maybe I could skip this part.
Oh man, are you serious? Why am I all the way back here? I'm just not even gonna play the rest out. I'm done. I hate that level so much. Sometimes it's like really nice. Sometimes you can like actually get through it. And then other times you just get the worst layout known to man and you just can't. It's close too. That was a good run, but I really needed a double jump. I thought would have salvaged that run, but unfortunately it just wasn't meant to be. Alright, well. No one's really watching. I think I'm gonna go grab dinner. And, uh, maybe I'll, like, make a video advertising it. I'll come back and, uh, maybe we'll do some Tokiden or something. I think people would like to see that game. And since, uh, the marketing team at Koei or whoever makes the decisions decided to, uh, mute all the recordings when you play it through your PS4. <laughs> That game has like zero presence on here. I would like to change that. I think Tokiden's a really great game, but they really shot themselves in the foot by uh, muting the recordings through PS4. I mean, it's pretty obvious they're trying to be like a serious competitor to Monster Hunter, but I don't know who thought it was a good idea to just mute the sound. <laughs> I mean, if you're like a big streamer, if you take streaming seriously, then you would have a capture card and you could avoid it, but all the little guys who don't have a capture card, like, you can't stream that game at all. <clears throat> I'm trying to see if there's anybody to raid. There, we're gonna host a friend of mine from, uh... I'm not sure what to expect. I mean... They could mute it. They could just mute certain parts. I imagine they'll block the cutscenes because they've, uh... They've banned people for uploading the cutscenes to Bizarre Games in the past. Oh, what's up, Will? Yeah, I was about to turn the stream off, but uh, since you're here, I'm going to set up some Tokiden. Uh, on Tokiden, if you stream it through a PS4, it's like watching a 1920 silent film. There's no sound at all. I think if you have a mic or a camera, you can have that on, but there's like zero sound from the game. That's why when you search Tokiden on here, you'll see like three people streaming it versus Monster Hunter, which usually has like, you know, at least a hundred, if not more. I have to wonder if it's like a legal issue. I heard it's like something to do with like the royalties for the Japanese voice actors. I'm like, well, you know, you should pay them whatever they're asking, if that's the case. <laughs> I mean, there's thousands of people out there that don't have any kind of dedicated recording, like, hardware. You shouldn't, you shouldn't put any barriers of entry like that into streaming a game. I know a lot of the Musou games are like that, too. Um, Swillow here, he plays One Piece. And that's like the only one on the PS4 that doesn't have any kind of muted sound. Alright, I'm gonna try to set it up. So give me a minute here. I'll play for a little bit before I go to... Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna go for dinner.
All right, can you hear me? The last time I switched from a PC game to a uh, Vita, like freaked out. I had the mic muted for a bit. I'm gonna try to do a speed run here. I should change my stream title to the only Tokiden stream on Twitch that has sound. <laughs> Maybe that'll bring in some uh, some new viewers. It's probably true at this point. A few people who stream it still, anyway. Wow, he's not wanting me to speed run right now. Oh, this is a bad speed run. Yeah, I'll, I'll see about doing that. I mean, now that I have better internet, I can, like, feasibly do something like that. Oh, come on. Stop spamming. I hate when he does this. I wish if he took his legs off, he just couldn't keep spamming this move.
There we go. I have to admit, I've, I've kind of been a little burnt out on this game. Uh, I know you haven't really seen it on my YouTube channel because of all the computer issues I've been having, but uh, I play this a lot like when I'm not at home. Yeah, well, no one streams the PS4 version because you can't get the sound off it. <laughs> uh, I've got a special mission, but I know for a fact it's going to be a grinder and it's going to make me just not want to play any more games at all today. Every time I get a secret mission, it's always the grinder family. I hate fighting them. I think I'm gonna go grab something to eat, be it here or, or out, but uh, if you want to see what I have, here's the first page, uh, I have like the majority of the Mega Man X games, all the Mega Man X games that are available digitally, East, some other stuff, I have all these other games here. Senron Kagura, which is an embarrassment to have. I really didn't like that game. I should delete it. <laughs> Phantom Breaker, Heart Sar, Innocent Sar, some indie stuff. And here I have like my fighting games, arcade games and stuff. <laughs> yeah, the Terra Grinder should make a uh, cameo appearance DLC mission. Just make you never want to play the game again. And then this is the last page. I just got Shovel Knight uh, earlier this month. Probably going to buy the Red Star before I, uh, I leave for my trip next week. But yeah, that's everything I own on the Vita. Pretty cool stuff. If you have something you want to see, if you want to see like a quick preview, you can go ahead and let me know. I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm probably going to stop pretty soon. But if you want to see you in any one of these games, you go ahead and let me know now. <laughs> pretty, uh... Standard things you would expect me to have. I have pretty much all the beat em ups. <laughs> I have a lot of the classic games on here. I wanted to jailbreak my Vita and uh, put like emulators on here, but I decided not to. Uh, you want to see the Vita version of Ultimate? Yeah, I can do that. And then I'm going to go take a dinner break. Yeah, we should. My my PC seems to be fixed now. Like it, it would have turned off by now, I'm sure. Are you kidding me? I don't want to update. <laughs> I hear the latest uh, Vita update is just meant to prevent people from hacking it. But I read some bad things about hacking your Vita, like uh, you have to pretty much format your memory stick if you ever want to get rid of those games. Since they're not actual, like, officially sanctioned 
Vita programs. Like they're they're hard to get rid of. And since I buy I buy a Vita game like almost every month, at least one a month. I didn't really I decided I didn't want to do that. Yeah, it, it doesn't add anything. It's pretty much just there to uh, fix the exploit that you can hack it on. But hacking a Vita is pretty impractical as it is. I mean, you have to have a big memory card. You have to get all those programs. You have to get the game that you can actually exploit it with from uh, the store before they take it off. But that was the best part about the PSPs when you had, you know, like every single emulator on there up to PS1. <laughs> the farthest you could go on the original PSP was Game Boy Advance. That was like the, the only thing you could run. Like, pretty accurate. <laughs> I know the people behind that Hyper Dimension Muso game are like, uh, they do Onichan Bara and they also did uh, Senran Kagura on here. So it'll probably be pretty good, but I would just have a hard time stomaching that kind of game. The fan service in Senran Kagura just like boiled my blood. It's just obnoxious. Maybe you can skip it in that game. I don't know. So as you can see, uh, this is a really excellent port of the original game. A lot better than uh, Dynasty Warriors 8 is on the Vita. This character is like the most broken character I've seen in almost any game. Not even just Muso games, like He's like Batman with prep time tier. He just destroys everything. Yeah, I play this. I haven't been playing it that much lately, but uh, when I'm out in the wild, I play this pretty often. At least I was for a while, and then I just kind of stopped. <laughs> Look at that message lag. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not 
So I just rescued a generic that became playable in Dynasty Warriors 8. That's pretty cool. We should like gather our resources and make like an overall like Muso game tier list. I'm pretty sure this guy would be like number one. <laughs> this character is like the best guilty pleasure. Rare footage of Muso game on Twitch, yeah. Well, Koei muting the sound on all the PS4 streams is uh, definitely not helping that franchise's presence on here, that's for sure. Yo.
I don't remember when this level ends, but I want it to end pretty soon. I'm hungry. Come on. Of course, on the other end of the map. あなたが仕掛けてくることは読んでましたよ。そして いい感じ。ダメなんだ。ダメなんだ。だから味方を増やしておこうと思って。話が通じそうな人に援護を頼んだんだ。いや、だなきゃダメなんだ。何やってよかったよ。だなきゃダメなんだ。俺、偽公明